Hi guys, my name is Vincent and welcome to my channel, Acoustical Serenades. Um, I figured I'd make a little vlog to show you guys how I make uh, the acoustic covers for my channel. I figured I could bring you through all the equipment, all the wires that I use, and just kind of show you how everything works and the process of how the song gets made, okay? So uh, yeah, let's check it out. So the way I record, I uh, don't have a studio. I don't have, you know, a professional sound studio or anything like that. I kind of just take my equipment and throw it on the couch in my living room. So um, usually I like to start off with the piano. Of course, you need the laptop. Um, if you open up something like GarageBand is one that I pretty much use. It's pretty easy to use, uh, an easy, simple um, music recording software. And uh, usually I like to start with piano. Now this piano is pretty easy to plug in. Um, it is just a USB piano, so it doesn't have any speakers or anything on it. It can't, you have to plug it into something um, for it to play. You know, it, it, it doesn't have its own built-in sound system. So it has a USB, uh, I believe it's a type B, USB type B cable that you just plug into the back. Very easy there. And then it's a to a USB A cable, but I need an adapter because I'm in going into you know a newer MacBook that only takes USB Type C, so you got to get the adapter that goes from USB USB A to USB C, and that plugs in easily right there. And just like that, uh, GarageBand pretty much picks it up easily, and it plays uh, through the speakers or through your headphones if you have usually have my headphones connected. Um, I'll play you a little something. So what's cool about um, GarageBand is you can change the sounds of the piano to anything you want. So you can, um, you know, do do keyboards, do like organs. You can do just regular piano. You know, you could do guitar. You know, you could do like a rock guitar. You know, so I can cover like with that. I can cover some, do some Nickelback like. It's not like you. Sorry. Was waiting on a different story. This time I'm mistaken for hitting you a hardwood breaking. And I've been wrong, I've been down to the bottom of every bottle. These five words in my head, you know, stuff like that. So you have a lot of options with just the piano because of the uh, program that you're recording on. Now, once I finish with piano, that's when I bring out the lethal weapon. Yep, the acoustic guitar. And uh, that one's a little more trickier to plug in, so I'll show you how that works. So for the guitar, we have to use the Focusrite uh, audio box here. Um, it plugs in the same way that the piano did, actually, though. So it uses the USB-B right in there. And then we use the same USB-A to USB-C adapter to go into the computer then goes in the guitar cable which i believe they call a quarter inch jack connector which goes right into the guitar slot there okay and then of course the other side same thing goes into the guitar now normally when i do record acoustic guitar i'm always wearing headphones because the sound of the acoustic guitar is too loud um, to just listen to it on the computer mics. You need to hear like what affects the acoustic guitar sounds through the computer. So you're always going to want to use headphones. Um, and it just uses your typical 3.5 millimeter head, uh, headphone jack. And that goes right into the computer. And then you just got to make sure on your system settings on GarageBand uh, that you're outputting... See if you see their output device, it's still going through the Scarlet. I just switch it back to system. So, oh, we gotta make sure the input is Scarlet though. Um, and that way, whatever I'm playing on the acoustic guitar will now go right to the headphones there. Now for the sake of the vlog, I'll, um, I'll record it. It's actually picking up my voice right now, but I'll record it through the laptop speaker so you can kind of hear it. So, same song.
kind of cool that um, just because of the software, you can kind of make an acoustic guitar sound electric, which I think is pretty cool. Now, the last thing we use is uh, the mic for vocals. So um, you plug that in, it's a micro USB to the bottom here, and then that same adapter uh, from USB A to USB C into the MacBook. It's a, it's a different cable than the one we used for the piano and the guitar. So um, most people, you, anyone who records music, they don't use this mic to record music, okay? This is a USB mic. This is meant for like podcasting and stuff like that. Normally you should have um, a mic that plugs into here using that MIDI, the MIDI, M-I-D-I port um, that has four, it needs like 48 volts. It's, it's something like, yeah, but this for me, I'm not a professional musician. Uh, it sounds good enough and it's really easy to just connect uh, and record. So I'll play you the final version of that song I was just playing. Um, I recorded a second guitar. So when you see me sing it, it'll be like kind of like the actual recorded version. Okay. So it'll, it'll be pretty cool. It's not like you say sorry. I was waiting on a different story. This time I'm mistaken for handing you a heart worth breaking. And I've been wrong, I've been down into the bottom of every bottle. These five words in my head scream, Are we having fun yet? Yet, 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 no, no. So that's kind of like a little, little basic, basic gist of it, I guess. So thank you guys for watching. That um, that's how I kind of record the, my songs, um, whether they're original or cover songs for this channel. Um, obviously, that was just a quick little rundown. Um, things can get a lot more technical when you're actually mixing songs and stuff like that. But th those are the basic. Um, steps and that's the equipment that i use so thank you guys for watching and um, i hope you subscribe and look out for more covers uh on acoustical serenades thank you